Growing an audience from zero is going to be one of the hardest things that we do in our careers as content creators and or online entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs, regular entrepreneurs, whatever the case may be. You want to have an audience if you have something to sell. And for me, I'm taking the approach of building the audience first, getting the community together first, and then later down the line, we could get into selling. Maybe that's not your approach, but for anyone who is also in the early days of building a community, an audience completely from scratch, the first thing that I want to put on your radar is don't even worry about um, selling your product right now. And that might be hard for you if you are in a position where you are creating content to make money that you need right now. I have been in a place of creating content from a scarcity mindset before, and it really takes away the fun and the joy from content creation. Excuse me if you can hear my daughter in the background, but I'll repeat that again just in case it was loud and even if it wasn't, it's probably helpful to hear. Again, creating from a scarcity mindset really takes out, takes away the fun and the joy from creating content. And if you're in a season right now where you really could use the money that can come from growing an audience, uh, having a successful YouTube channel, just really having your content uh, work for you. I definitely understand that, but putting pressure on the content to make that money for you right now is just the wrong, is not a great way to go about it. Building an audience right now is an investment that you're creating for your future. In the early days of building an audience, your focus should be less on the money and more about the skill set. There's a creator on here by the name of Dan Co. Go check out his content if you're not familiar with it. But he has this, this thing about the multi, the, the million dollar skill stack. And these are a group of skills that if you get good at enough, like if you're just good enough at these skills, you will find yourself making a million dollars. Um, in the digital landscape, Dan Co is all about online entrepreneurship and content creation and creating the good life from your the efforts that you put in the digital world. So even though your situation may be challenging to you right now, whether that be from a financial standpoint or perhaps emotionally, uh, physically, whatever your challenged with right now. If you can find it in yourself to dig deep and get out of this scarcity mindset and figure out what skills can I work on right now because improving your skills is essentially free. YouTube has a whole a, a whole bunch of information that you can learn from books that are fairly inexpensive, whatever the resource may be, what I'm trying to say is even in the absence of a lot of money, you can still build your skill set and you don't necessarily need to like look towards higher education or these modes of learning that cost a lot of money. Even buying some of these courses out here that uh, folks online are putting out that that's not your season right now to learn in that particular way because it comes with a certain financial um it comes with a cost you know leaning into focusing on your skills can really help you grow an audience online even if you don't have that much money right now i'm making videos right now because one day i want to be looked at as an industry leader. I'm using YouTube and these videos and my content to establish authority with my future customers. I want them to feel like I am I know what I'm talking about. I'm also creating videos because I want to be a resource to people that are like me. I want to be a resource to other content creators, to other online entrepreneurs, 
and have a library of content that they can explore. Are you clear on the reason that you're creating videos? And I feel like knowing the why behind it is a great way to walk away from a scarcity mindset that you might be in right now. At the time of this recording, I have 200 subscribers here on YouTube, 200 and counting. Today is January 8th, 2024, and I have reached 200 subscribers. So thank you. Um, if any of anybody, a part of my community happens to be watching this, thank you so much. Thank you so much for being on this journey with me. Thank you for being here. How did I get to this point? Or, or hold on, hold on, before I talk about that. I think it's helpful to have share some timeline timelines and everything like that. So I started this channel June 10th, 2023. And I was starting my channel from this by any means necessary state of mind. At the time, I had only been a mom for like four months or so. I was still getting accustomed to my life as a mother. And I just couldn't really figure out how am I going to do this content thing? And I just got out of the thinking about it space and just doing it. And like, I'm going to figure it along, figure it out along the way. So I started my channel with this whole idea that like, I'm going to post a video for the next 30 days every day. And I did that so that I can improve the skill of talking to the camera every time I would sit down to film a video, I would be so nervous and I couldn't get my words out. And that's something I'm still working on. I'm definitely not that great yet. I'm definitely not a, I haven't mastered the skill of talking to the camera, but I'm getting, I'm way better than I was back then. So wanted to post daily for 30 days and around day 10, I realized that is not sustainable. I was stressed out. I was just like, no, I, 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 I've gotten more comfortable in the camera. Um, over these past 10 days, I need to switch up my strategy. So I ended up, um, I posted a couple of few, couple of videos after that. And then I took a break at the time that was around July 26, 2023, that I posted my last video before my break. I had about 61 subscribers at that point. I didn't come back to posting on YouTube until November 2023. Uh, so I'm starting November uh, with about 65 subscribers when I come back to my channel. So I start, I post my video um, after being on my break on November 7th, 2023. By December 5th, 2023, I had reached 100 subscribers, and that was a major, major mile, milestone for me. Uh, if you're interested in like what that day was like and want to celebrate that milestone with me, definitely check out the video about it. I'll link it down below. Um, so yeah, that means I gained about 35 subscribers in the month of November. I only posted one video a week in November because I was just Returning, I needed to get back in the swing of things, but I knew I was gonna have to increase my uploads because in my opinion, posting more frequently uh, creates more opportunities for your video to pop off in the algorithm and more opportunities for people to find your channel and potentially subscribe to you, just more opportunities in general. So in December, I up my up, I increased my uploads to twice a week. And on January 1st, like at midnight, I walked into 2024 with 139 subscribers today. Once again, it's January 8th and I have 201 subscribers to, you know, I, I'm, I'm at the 200 subscriber mark. That means in five weeks, 35 days, however you want to put it, I gained 100 subscribers. Now, hopefully you followed along with everything that I just shared, but the takeaway from that is it took much longer to get the first 100 subscribers for me, but it took much shorter to get the next 100. And if I continue to post more frequently, I believe it's gonna take shorter a shorter amount of time for me to reach 
300 subscribers, um, so on and so forth, and, and keep going, going up. You know, it's going to take a shorter amount of time, but that's only going to happen if I'm posting and getting better with my videos. The thing about posting more frequently, um, you know how I said it gives you more opportunities. One of those opportunities is you get better at those skills involved with video creation. And if you don't, if you take anything away from this video, it's the fact that there's skills required with this lifestyle and making money from this this in this way. There's a lot of skills required. You have that special something. There is something unique about you that God just gave to you. You have to discover that and then match that up with a certain set of skills in, or, in order to be successful on here. That is the magic potion. That is the magic sauce. You're, you, your authentic self, true real life skills that there's people out there teaching that you can find and learn from, put it together and you're gonna win on here. My plan going forward for the month of January, I am trying to increase my uploads to three times a week at minimum. If I can get out more content, I will. And I am still at the beginning phases of my YouTube channel. So for me, this is still a discovery phase. I'm testing things out with each video that I upload and I'm not focused on perfection. In my 100 subscribers vlog, a, a friend of mine, she says that perfection is not the priority right now. Perfection is not the priority right now. And when she said that, she really spoke to me because I'm a perfectionist. And I'm slowly, with each video that I put up, I'm walking away from this perfectionist lifestyle because it's, it's holding me back ultimately. It really is holding me back. So we'll see what happens when it comes to Jan January. And as we, and as I progress forward, we'll see how my content strategy ends up changing. And that's another thing. This is a dynamic space. Things change um, frequently and you gotta stay on it. Like you gotta stay connected to this craft if you want to build an audience of at least a thousand true fans. I don't know if you ever heard this before, but if you can get a thousand true fans, it's it's wonderful and great to dream of the day where you have a hundred thousand subscribers and you're getting your um, silver play button and all that. Wonderful. It, it will arrive. That's great. But at the end of the day, if you can get a thousand true fans, you will be able to have a successful life as a content creator and an entrepreneur. You'll have people who will buy whatever it is you want to sell eventually, and that will support you. I believe that once we understand how to serve a community, that's when explosive growth will happen. The skill of serving the viewer, I think is really underrated and not enough people talk about it. As someone who's worked in the actual service industry before I was a waitress, your customer is always first, your viewer is always first, and you have to find the audience that you want to serve, the community that you want to serve with your content. When you're crystal clear on that, who that is, and, and you're clear on who you're talking to, these, these video ideas are gonna come like this, and you're gonna be able to bang out this content much more easier, like a lot of different things. And I, and I can't speak on every aspect of the formula that's going to equate to a, a audience of at least a hundred uh, of at least a thousand fans plus I don't know all of that because I'm still on the journey right but I just feel like if you know your audience everything that needs to come together will come together and I have a video all about um knowing your audience and really getting clear on your niche, essentially who it is that you want to speak to, because that's the way that we're, we're niching these days. So definitely check out this video. I will see you over there. Um, I, I, I reached 200 subscribers. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's go. Let's keep growing our channel, y'all. 
，拜拜。